Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have a blue mailer from Chic Sparrow here with my new number seven from Chic Sparrow. Actually, two new number sevens from Chic Sparrow, and I'm super excited to unbox these. After I ordered these, they did announce a new limited edition leather that's coming out that will be in the Cascade and also this number seven design and then later in folios. And part of me kind of wishes I had waited to order to get one in that leather, but I might just order another one <laughs> if I like the design as much as I think because I really wanted to get something unique in the Waypoint leather and I decided the number seven was the perfect design for that Waypoint leather. So I'm gonna unbox this with you guys. Let me pull them out. So I did order two. I ordered a B6 in the Waypoint in Quiet Tan. That is my favorite Waypoint color of all time. And then I also ordered an A5 because I just couldn't help myself. But also because I don't have a lot of A5 Traveler's Notebooks in the deluxe style. I pretty much just have my Elderwood E-Class, which I absolutely adore, but I wanted a second deluxe style traveler's notebook in a five size, a notebook that had pockets inside and then also the pen loop because the rest of mine are classics. So I'm gonna open up the envelope real quick. We have the card that talks about full grain leather and all of its natural characteristics. We have my packing slip with my order notes and then we have my sticker, which is a custom sticker for Chic Sparrow. It has Jennifer there with her traveler's notebook in Spokane. And then on my order notes, all I wrote was that I wanted pieces that were unique with characters. So scars, fat rolls, and color variation were welcome. So that is what is on my packing slip with my order notes. So we're gonna start with the B6 because that's actually the reason that I ordered and that is the waypoint and I'm super excited for it. So this is my notebook. It actually doesn't have any real character to it, just the normal leather color of Waypoint Quiet Tan. It doesn't have any scars or large color variations or anything like that, but it is still super, super pretty. It does have a little bit of a fat roll right there. And then this is the inside, and this is the configuration of the number seven. So it has this interior slip pocket that is curved and then it has your card pockets. On the B6 size, you have a smaller card pocket here and then a larger card pocket here. It has your four traveler's notebook strings and then it has a slip pocket here that has been designed to allow you to slip notebooks or inserts into it. And then it has the new removable pen loop that Chic Sparrow now, now offers. So that pen loop can be removed if you are a person that prefers your notebooks without a pen loop, or it slides right back in like that. And then you have your pen loop. So as far as the pen loop goes, find a pen. This is a Twisby Eco. So it will fit a Twisby Eco. It would probably have to stretch out a little bit to get over that. There we go. So it will fit a Twisby Eco, which is a quite large pen. And then this is a Sharpie S gel. And so it fits that quite nicely as well. So you can fit larger pens or smaller pens in there and it will sit like that. And it doesn't have like a huge bump or anything like that in the back. So this is designed to allow you to slip notebooks back in there. So I thought I would test to see if my Wonderland 222 slips back in there. This is my hand stitched leather tee that I'm carrying this month. And this is my planner, which is a bullet journal style. And this is my wellness planner, which is actually their planner. So it has weekly pages in it and the monthlies in it. So I'm going to test because I want to see if this will slip back into this cover and of course I just unboxed this and there's a little bit of residual glue in there so let me get that loosened up some you can do this with your finger it's actually easier to do it like with a letter opener or a butter knife it's just the glue that's used to kind of hold the leather together when they're stitching it, especially with thinner leathers that are a little bit floppier or softer hand, like the Waypoint. So we're gonna see how this works. It's gonna be a little bit of a tough fit at first with that glue in there. I really should have grabbed a letter opener or butter knife before I did this video, but I really just wanted to unbox it and see my notebook covers. 
All right. So that does slip quite nicely back in there. This is a B6 size planner and their notebook is also B6 size and they are made with Tomoe River paper. These are ISO, International Standard B6 size, so basically five by seven. So they're slightly smaller than the JIS Japanese standard size B6. I don't know that you could fit a B6 Stalogy in here. I will definitely try it off camera. And then if it does, I will either post in the community tab or on Instagram and share that with you guys. But the Wonderland 222 notebook fits perfectly. And I am loving this planner and this notebook. So I'm super excited about that. It does fit super nice in the back because it is cut to allow that to be inserted in there. The front does not have that feature. So it won't fit in this front pocket. You would have to put it in the back pocket. So for me, because I'm carrying two of them together, one of them would have to go on the elastic or in a folder. I do have a tutorial on how to make a folder to hold your thicker notebooks into your traveler's notebook. So I'll put a card up above so you can check that out but it does slip back in the back and then I could put dashboards on here or inserts and I could carry them together with my planner or my bullet journal if I was only carrying one of these or I could put the other one on these strings. So that is my new cover in the Waypoint leather. It is so pretty. Oh, it smells so good. So that is my B6 size cover in the number seven. And then this is my A5 size. And I actually ordered this in Dormouse. I kind of went back and forth. Dormouse is not my favorite of the Carol collection, March Hare is, but I already have an A5 folio in March Hare and a few other March Hares. And Dormouse is super intriguing to me. It just reminds me of chocolate milk and I just think it's really, really pretty. So I decided to just go for it and get an A5 in this leather. It is so pretty. There is my A5 notebook. And it is the same design inside. It's just that it has three standard size card pockets here instead of the larger one here and then the one smaller card pocket. It has a slip pocket here so you can slip stickers or ephemera or money or what have you inside there. You can decorate these pockets or use it for wallets or washi cards or what have you. And then the back is slit. So you can slip inserts and or notebooks back in there. So I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit. So just like the B6 size, this also has the removable pen loop there, so it will fit the same size pens. And I was going to actually put my Wonderland 222 in here, but I don't really feel like taking it off of my Lauren Phelps design cover right now. And this is what I use as my work planner and what I would be using this for. So instead, I'm going to actually put in a Hobonichi Cousin of Vec because it is the same size as my Wonderland 222. It is just slightly thinner, but it will work and fit the same way. So I'm gonna stick this, this is actually my 2018 Cousin of Vec. So I'm gonna stick this inside here. And when you first get it, like I said, it will be a little bit of a tight fit because of the glue and it needs to just kind of loosen up a little bit, but it will go in there and it will fit. And definitely if you run a butter knife or a letter opener in there to loosen up that glue some, it will help. I will say that glue will re-tacky itself. So if you have a cover that you let sit for a while, it will once again kind of glue together. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry that about that. Grocery delivery, you know, mom life, adult life, all the fun things. This one is a little bit of a stiffer fit, but I think it's because I was a little more gentle in loosening up that glue. But as I was saying before the doorbell rang, the glue does become re-tacky as it sits. So if you leave one of these notebooks or any of the notebooks that have some glue on it that was used to help them stitch, you leave them without a notebook or insert inside of them, go back and add one at a later date, it will kind of re-stick together. So you have to do that process again. But it does fit 
quite nicely. Once again, it won't fit in the front cover unless you were to trim your actual notebook, but you can definitely put your other one on strings if you have two. I've actually just been using my planner. I do have the notebook for this, but I use it for sort of collections and long-term notes. So I don't keep them together anymore, but I do like to keep stickers. Like I have these stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co and Mandy Lynn Plans and post-it notes and other things with me with my planner so that I can use them in my planner. So I will probably put dashboards on here and use them for storage. And I can show you guys that setup once I have it done, if that's something you guys want to see, but it fits inside there. And then I can put dashboards and or inserts on here and I can add washi cutting cards and other things into my pockets and I have a beautiful leather cover for my work planner and it's going to be perfect. So that is my Dormouse A5 in the number 7 design and this is my B6 Waypoint Quiet Tan in the number 7 design. I really like this design aesthetically. It is very much me. I love the curved lines. I love the coordinated stitching. I love how simple and clean it is and it is definitely something that I enjoy. I'm not a huge fan of the heritage design from Chic Sparrow because I'm not into the scallop pockets but I do also love the cascade design but I'm really excited about this design and the fact that it is made so that you can slip your notebook or insert into the back and that way you can have a thicker notebook in there with some inserts and dashboards. So that is my unboxing of my Chic Sparrow number no. seven notebooks. I wanted to share them with you guys and show you guys how notebooks fit inside them. If you have any questions about these leathers or about the design or about Chic Sparrow in general, please don't hesitate to reach out to me and I will definitely get back with you. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you liked this unboxing. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.